Earlier this year, I uploaded a couple of videos regarding 19 John and Jane Doe cases that I believed would be solved by the DNA Doe project in 2021. Case 19 was Hudson John Doe, a man whose body was found in Ohio in 2019 and who was believed to have died at least 50 years prior to this discovery. Last month, it was revealed that the DNA Doe project had identified this man as Richard Bunce, who was about 59 years old at the time of his death. Incredibly, Bunce had been born in New York State in 1793, and had died well over 150 years ago, around the year 1852. When excavators discovered his body in a pine box back in 2019, reports emerged that people had been buried on the property in the mid-1800s. These rumours turned out to be true, as Bunce had previously lived on that land in the years before his death, with the 1850 census listing him as living there alongside his wife and their many children. This was discovered after the DNA Doe project took on the case, uploading the then unknown man's DNA profile to Jedmatch. They found that he shared a substantial amount of DNA with one of his matches, and the match in question turned out to be Bunce's great 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 granddaughter. This is currently believed to be the oldest Doe case ever solved using investigative genetic genealogy, which proves that the technique is suitable for identifying people who died many decades, or even centuries, ago. All this would not have been possible without people deciding to upload their DNA to Jedmatch and Family Tree DNA in the first place. So if you've taken a DNA test, then please consider uploading your DNA data to Jedmatch and Family Tree DNA and opt into law enforcement matching. There are links in the description which will walk you through the process of doing this, and if you have any more questions then feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll answer them as well as I can. If you want to find out more about the other John and Jane Doe's I believe will be identified this year, there are links in the description for those videos too, and if you found this video interesting, then feel free to like, subscribe, and watch this space.